What's up everybody, Art of Death back here again. And you're probably wondering, what's with the ambiance? Why are you talking so low? What, what, what you got going on here? Well, it's really late at night. So I thought this would be a good change of pace, a good change of how the videos go. So, story time. I wanna talk about a question that I was asked that I think is important to every single one of us artists. Doesn't matter if you're a musician, doesn't matter if you're a painter, digital art, whatever other forms of art, dancing, what, whatever it may be. Let's take it back to 2017. I'm on the bus heading home. Bump into one of my good friends, Charles. So we start talking and as people typically do, they start running down things going on in their life, things that they're investing their time in and things that they're partaking in. I of course tell them, hey, you know, I picked up where I left off with my artwork and now I'm really trying to develop it into a career. He asked me one of the most profound and simplest questions that's always stuck with me throughout life in a lot of things that I decide to do. He said, I see that you're doing your artwork. It's awesome. I'm supporting you 100%. But what are you doing with it? That was his question. Now, knowing Charles over the years, I can pretty much say he was talking about in a monetary sense and you know <laughs> that's just the person who he is man i mean he's always been the type to bring out the skills in someone or use his skills and use it in a fashion where it's now a means of support and of course i got that message from him i got that message in what he was saying when he said what are you doing with it my art that is However, I really took the question in. I really sat back and I really started to think more on it. And it was actually one of those few questions that, that stumped me because of the different levels to it and how in depth and deep it goes. So aside from the monetary aspect, one of the things that really stood out to me and that I started to think about is what am I doing with my artwork? You know, making money off of it is cool. The followers, the likes, the comments, all that is cool. But in the grand scheme of things, in the bigger picture, what am I doing with my work? So as the years went by, that's what part of my journey has become. That's what part of my quest became. Not only to connect with the people, not only to put out a lot of the visions that I have, a lot of the ideas, not only to develop my skills and be the best artist I can be, but it's always, it, it's also been to bring about an answer to his question. What am I doing with it? And when I really meditated on it and gave it some thought, the conclusion that I came to was that what I'm doing with my artwork is telling a story to help others. I'm also creating artwork to give people a bit of escapism and make them feel good from whatever they might be going through in their day-to-day -day lives. I'm creating artwork to tap into people's emotion, to raise awareness about certain issues, to start conversations that would otherwise go muted or just overlooked. When I look back at some of the pieces I've created, some of them have caused controversy some of them have been have been pretty <laughs> have been pretty out there but 
it's always brought about a conversation that wouldn't have otherwise been had if I didn't put things out in a certain way. Now, because I'm a black artist and I tend to do some Afrocent Afrocentric artwork at times, I, I usually get categorized as, you know, just the black art category, which, you know, art is art. There, there is no necess there's not necessarily a boxed in sort of um, position for anybody. But I noticed that there wasn't a lot of things that I wanted to speak about and stories that I wanted to tell that were being covered in this space. So that's when I took it upon myself to start telling some of the stories about what I experienced, but also some of the things I've seen other people around me growing up experiencing. And I decided to put that in my artwork. And even outside of that, when I'm doing things like the comic book art, fan art, that's all relative to me telling the story because that was my escape at the time from my environment and from certain trauma that was going on around me. So everything kind of comes full circle and everything kind of connects. And still, I kept that question in mind. Every piece that I do, a lot of decisions that I make in my art career, a lot of moves that I want to make in the future. Yes, it's fantastic. This is me talking to me now. <laughs> Yes, it's fantastic that you want to do this. It will be great for you. It will be a great career move, but what are you doing with it? And I love that question so much because it's also a question that has kept me, it's kept me motivated. It's kept me going. It's kept me wanting more. It's kept me looking for the next step in my career. It's kept me looking to what's the next piece I create I can create that's gonna tell a, um, a strong story that's gonna really hit the people hard. It's kept me wanting to make a piece that's gonna last hundreds of years after I'm gone that'll hopefully invoke different emotions to the viewers to the audience and even you watching this you the creator no matter what medium you use to create no matter what form of art you use to express yourself I think this is also a very important question for you also it doesn't matter what what type of art you're doing what type of art form you're involved in but I think we all get to a point where it becomes more than just a thing that we do. It becomes more than just something we create and it transforms into something that's gonna be a part of this world that has the potential to be a part of this world for hundreds of years after we're gone. See, that question of what are you doing with it is deep on many levels, like I said. And you, the creator, when you think about this question, just like me, I feel that you can find your purpose through it. You can find your purpose with your work and what your work means to you, what your work means to your fans and supporters and what it could mean to other people in the future. And once you know what exactly you're doing with your work, you'll be able to determine what direction to go and you'll be a bit closer to reaching your goals and you'll eventually get there and get everything you want thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope this inspired you guys a bit like it's inspired me over the years don't forget to like subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one peace